Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to decrypt HTTPS using um, my voice is uh, not good. Actually, I have cold, uh, so sorry for the voice. Uh, so I am going to today show you how to decrypt HTTPS traffic in Wireshark. Uh, so this is the site on which we are going to perform the experimentation it's a very secure site uh, don't go on this not secure because it's uh, just a uh, dummy for it uh, it actually uses SSL uh, when you uh, let me show you when you sign in or login uh, when you go to sign in up or login it actually uses uh, you can see it goes to another secure domain okay so it's actually very secure side and it will confuse you that it's uh, not secure so we are going to do experimentation on this or if you want some easy one uh, i will also show you with easy because it's uh, a kind of a confusion uh, uh, for uh, confusing uh, the people that it's not secure and it's actually uh, there are a lot of protocols behind this one so firstly let me show you what happens when you try to do with an HTTPS site okay Uh, so where is my Wi-Fi? Okay, so now let me go to login. Uh, no, let me go to sign up. Uh, it's uh, this is the secure page okay so now let me pause this so now there are many ways of finding the packet so i am going to use quick and alerty way okay. so i am going to set it to string uh, one second i need to change it to packet uh, bytes Let me search for the dot run hosting. Okay. So this is a quick and uh, dirty way to find it out. So let us find for the client hello. Okay, here is the client hello. Okay, so now here is the client hello. And you can see here is the key exchange. Okay. So all this is you can see is encrypted. Okay. So we can't see the HTTP protocol. Okay, we are getting uh, the TCP because it's a uh, secure okay so what i am going to do is i am going to decrypt this so to decrypt uh, in order to decrypt uh, the https uh, uh, traffic what you need to do is uh, click on the start menu okay then uh, in search what uh, we need to type is system environment okay you need to click on this okay then click on environment variables then over here you need to click on new uh, so now we will give the environment variable name 
and we will uh, make a key lock file but before that uh, uh, let us make sure that we are only looking at the the conversation okay so let us right click on it and Where is the conversation filter yard? Um, and click on TCP. So now you will only see the conversation, okay? But the problem is here is it's encrypted as I told you before. So now we are going to uh, define a key variable okay so over here what uh, I am going to do is SSL key long file and I'm going to save it in uh, uh, directory mm. make a new folder I'm going to make a folder called key so this is So I am going to and key dot txt. Now uh, let us give it as log. Dot log will be much better. Okay. So now you need to restart your system. Okay, so we have uh, rebooted our system and uh, there is some problem with my Bandicam screen recorder. That's why it hasn't uh, record uh, edit uh, the thing. Let me show you in system environment. Okay, so what you are up to type. I had to make it twice. Okay, it's so, uh, just if anyone would recommend me another screen recorder it would be better yeah. so yeah this is what uh, you have to make the user so I had a lot of problem with uh, my screen recorder I have to do this whole thing again to explain you Okay, so open Wireshark. Click on Wi Fi. Okay, so again that same dirty order not run hosting. It's the easiest way. Oh, I forgot to pause it. Oh, 
बता रहा हूँ I actually forgot to reload this side. find this apply the filter okay So now let us go to preferences. So where is preferences? One second. So edit preferences. And go over here. go to protocols and where we need to search for TLS there is TLS Okay. So what we now need to do is, so you just click on browse over here and we will uh, navigate. Where is that key? So now it has to be decrypted and we have to see the HTTPS, HTTP I mean. So you can see this is, uh, we got the HTTP inside and now it's uh, decrypted, okay. So you can uh, see this. So, this is we have uh, get the decrypted way. So, now we can not just only see HTTP data, but uh, we can also just see the TCP data, but also HTTP. Okay. So, all the thing is decrypted. And you can see all the thing which was going on over here. Okay. So you can use the same to access the passwords and username. Okay. So we have get all the get requests. As you can see, we got the cookie. We got the currency. This is many sites, in fact, uh, store in a, a password and username inside cookies. So you can see uh, this uh, is uh, a quite great thing which uh, we can implement. Okay, but uh, you might say, why didn't I show you using the sign up? Uh, or uh, via login into HTTPS. Uh, so I won't uh, show you because of uh, the security reasons uh, or bracket servers. I won't uh, allow the hackers to know it. But uh, there is another tutorial for it. Uh, but it's done on HTTP uh, because uh, I don't want, uh, and it's done on localhost because I don't want uh, someone else to access uh, my site. Uh, this way.
okay because uh, there will be a lot of cross scripting if i did uh, tell you how to access the password and uh, everything and it's not easy it's encrypted in uh, 12 stages so even if someone got the pass username and password via this method he won't be able to do anything much the first six stages are encrypted right in javascript and the next six stages are encrypted in the backend so uh, uh, encrypted username and password is passed okay uh, you can try on some other site i won't demonstrate on my site <laughs> 